going to be demonstrating the stapler style splice tool. It's a very simple tool uh, to use. These are the stapler style uh, splice shims. It's very simple. You will just uh, pull the little mechanism back on the splice tool and then you will load the cartridge. It's a you would just slide the splice shims into the cartridge. You will then release uh, the tensioner and so now you have the splice shim loaded inside the carrier tape. Now we will just put this on the alignment pins and we will cut the carrier tape to be spliced. Uh, we will be putting the two pieces of carrier tape inside of the splice tool as little hold downs right there to be able to keep that uh, carrier tape in place and then we put the other one in the alignment pins right here as well put the hold down right there and then what we will do is we will crimp the tool you squeeze it all the way to the bottom and so what it does is it attaches your splice on the bottom of the carrier tape then we will add a cover tape connector uh, we will be using these double splice tapes that basically fall right into the sprocket drive holes to be able to align then you will fold that over underneath to be able to put a splice connector on the bottom and one on the top we'll remove the clear plastic carrier discard it and so what you have is a splice on the top and a splice on the bottom this runs seamlessly through all pick and place machines Fuji, Panasonic, Universal, Quad, Siemens, Juki, Sanyo and Samsung thank you very much appreciate it